one kilowatt pack. I'm just going to retrofit some fuses on the cells because originally I didn't put fuses on this this pack. So, my plan, my plan is to replace one of these with a new line, a new um, strip off to the side, insulated from those, and then connect everything by fuse wire, and then I'll test the battery with a heavy load to see whether the fuses blow or not and um, if that works on this pack I'm just going to do one line um, then I'll use that, the, that fuse technique on the 2 kilowatt pack Alright, that worked okay. The old piece is fine. Okay, so here is my plan. I'm going to put Kipton tape on the underneath of this to insulate it from this side here. Then I'm going to then solder the fuses. On. Let's see how that goes. Right. It's always a good, good idea to lay a piece of cardboard over the the portion of the pack that you're not working on, just to so you don't accidentally drop something across the. Terminals. If you're not familiar with Kapton tape, it is a really good insulator and also very um, resistant to heat. You'll see it used a lot in um, various situations around batteries. So what I'm going to do is do a couple of layers of this stuff. So this is stuff that cheap stuff that I bought off Char, um, AliExpress. So just to be safe, I'm going to use three layers. That should be fine. Okay. So that goes there. Let's solder that in place. And hold that down while it settles. 
and I'll come back and tidy that up. Okay, so that's all nice. All right, so the fuse wire I'm going to use is this cheap fuse that you can buy in a hardware store. Fuse wire. Um, I don't know what you would do in America because you probably don't have this. This is for a really old-fashioned um, mains fuse box. So I'm going to try the 5 amp fuse and we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay, there we go. Pretty hard to see those fuses, but they are there. And hopefully that will work. We shall see. Okay, so now I've got the battery with the fuses hooked up to the go-kart which when it's um, under full load will suck about 40 amps and at the moment it's just doing 1.4 watts so let's turn it on and see what happens Well, no, no fuses blue, which is a good sign. They're not warm. It sucked a peak watts of, oh, this is good. It says peak watts was, peak watts 239. Oh, that's good. That's a reasonably good test. Um, 8.7 amps peak coming out of the whole pack um, so if you divide that by 24 you get a much smaller number um, so unsurprisingly these fuses are absolutely fine under that kind of load um, and that pretty much simulates the sort of load I would be wanting to use my 2 kilowatt pack with my inverter and um, all sorts of low power loads. So um, I'm going to call that um, a success for the moment. That was fun. Okay, peak amps 33, peak watts 889. Woohoo! That was good. And the fuses are, uh, not sure if you can see that. Fuses are all fine. Um, so, what is that? Um, 
that is 33 amps across 24 cells is just a bit over um, 1 amp per cell, um, which would be 2 amps per connection, because I'm doing them all in pairs. Um, and as you kind of expect with 5 amp fuse wire, it's all fine. Uh, so I think this is going to work really well. Um, feel free to leave a comment on your thoughts, whether you like it or don't. Got any bright ideas, opinions? Love to hear them. 